It's been over 100 years since archaeologists unearthed something truly special. The tomb of Tutankhamun. Today, here in Madrid, with the help of technology, it's now possible to journey back in time to the Egypt of the pharaohs in this unique, interactive space dedicated entirely to immersive experiences. This is a growing industry that many say offers a refreshing alternative in the world of art and entertainment. Pero que tampoco pretendemos sustituirlo, o sea, es insustituible ir a ver eh, los objetos eh, de una tumba egipcia o la tumba de Tutankamón que tienes en los museos hoy por hoy, pero el hecho de poder disfrutar de su entorno, de su, uh, del Egipto como era en aquel entonces, del arte, como estaba en aquel momento creado los templos o las tumbas. VR headsets also allow you to journey into the tomb and through the Valley of the Kings, while the high walls of this former Madrid abattoir provide an ideal backdrop for the large projections. The flexibility of these exhibitions also means they can be moved around the world without damaging priceless artifacts and can be adapted to different venues. These digital immersive experiences are taking us closer to art and history than ever before. Expect to see more metaverse, holograms and augmented reality as this trend grows across the world. In the United States, a company called Lighthouse has used video mapping of buildings to curate images beamed onto specific surfaces. They are now incorporating additional elements to engage the senses even more, like touch and smell. Lighthouse have recently partnered with Disney for a 20-city tour of the United States. On our Disney show, we have hired the world's greatest designer of bubbles. It seems like a strange job, um, but we're able to fill 500,000 uh, cubic feet with bubbles in seconds, which is what we need to do. So to take the experience, which is currently mostly a video experience, and to begin to introduce tactile um, elements like bubbles, um, like interactive video, things that you can touch and will move and react to you. They plan to expand their operations east to Asia with China, South Korea and Japan, the primary markets in their sites. The immersive experience industry is worth over $60 billion in the US alone and has grown 30% in the last two years. Many believe that trend is likely to continue as changes in the use of retail and office space means more is available while there is more interest in virtual reality experiences. Ken Brown, CGTN, Madrid.